you've got mold in your home and you want to get rid of it for good, then this video is for you, bestie. I'm going to show you how I transformed this moldy bathroom into this. And we're going to start on day one. Because Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was this free clean. The lady who applied for this free clean was so lovely. She's been living in this rented flat with her two very young babies. And every single room in the flat was riddled with mold. Literally every single room had a different type of mold and was at a different level of growth. But that's okay because I'm using my three steps to mold removal. And this will pretty much get rid of every single type of mold that you have around your home. The most heartbreaking thing was that her bedroom was actually the worst in the house. She selflessly wanted me to help her kids first, so that's what we did. The goal for day one was to get this nursery as safe as possible, as quick as possible, while still being safe with ourselves. My steps to mold removal include three different products, but none of these products can be mixed together at the same time because it's very dangerous. Each product needs time to completely dry out before you go in with the next one. The first product I use is white vinegar. Now vinegar works so well on mold, but it does need to sit for at least an hour before it works. So what you're gonna do, spray everything down with white vinegar and then leave the room. Leave it for an hour and let it do its thing. When you're spraying the vinegar, you are not wiping at the same time. You're literally just spraying and leaving. Do not disrupt the colony. We took a short break while this was happening. And the lovely lady made us jollof and stew. And this was one of the best jollofs I've ever had in my life. Right, the hours passed and we can now start wiping up that vinegar and mold solution. Here's a quick before and after of the ceiling before we use the white vinegar versus after. At this point, we've not even started wiping yet. For the wiping stage, I like to use these cheap sponges. You can get 10 in the supermarket for one pound 30 they're great. You're gonna work in short circular motions and you're literally just wiping off all of that vinegar. A lot of the mold is gonna come down with Here's it. a before and after of under the window, what it looks like before the vinegar versus after. Once all the vinegar's been wiped up, gonna leave the area to dry out for at least a day. And you're gonna return to it the next day when it's dry with product two. People ask why I have two additional steps when vinegar works so well and I wanna draw your attention to this bathroom ceiling. Even though the vinegar is making a huge difference, this ceiling is nowhere near looking brand spanking new again. I can't be sure that all of this mold is because dead. Because without fancy schmancy technology, we have no idea how deep the root system Goes. But it's best to always be safe rather than sorry. But that was day one. Come back for day two. Where I'm going to show you the next steps to properly kill the mold. Most importantly, to make sure it never comes back. At the moment, we're helping out a young mum with two small babies who's living in a very moldy flat. When we arrived at the property, we immediately noticed multiple different leaks and the bathroom extractor fan didn't work. That very same day, the landlord was contacted. All of the information was passed on to him and he's now making arrangements to get the leaks investigated and any repairs done. I made a massive mistake in my last video. Because in that video, I didn't tell you the following thing. The first thing is that simply just cleaning up mold is not going to get rid of it forever. Unless the root causes address and the environment that the mold was previously thriving in is permanently changed, then even if you kill the mold, a new colony will just grow in its place. In order to thrive, mold needs a humidity level of 55 or above. So the main trick to stop it from coming back is keeping the humidity low. I didn't say any of this in my previous video because that video and this one are both part of the same series. And I think that's a big topic that deserves its own dedicated video, which is coming very soon, bear with me. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, the second step that I do when I'm removing mold is I take 3% hydrogen peroxide and I do a very similar technique to what you saw in part one. Wear PPE and spray the area, then leave it, come back in 15 minutes and then begin to wipe. After you've wiped, leave it overnight to dry out before you go on to the third product, which we will discuss in the next video. Hydrogen peroxide penetrates really deeply, so effectively this is killing anything that the vinegar missed. Again, never mix these products together at the same time. Once the hydrogen peroxide's been left for a day and you come back, you'll notice the area looks significantly better, but it's still not looking brand spanking new. And that's okay, because I'm going to teach you how to get there in the next part. While Harry was doing that, I started on the windowsill in the nursery. Because we didn't just tackle mold in this free deep clean, but you're going to see everything else we did in the next video. And the amazing woman that we were helping made us another incredible meal. And she even sent us home with a freshly baked lemon cake. The fact that she did all this whilst also fasting for Ramadan just melted my heart. I'm so happy we got to do this for her and her family. It's day three of me showing you how I deep clean this moldy bathroom for free. Sneak peek at the afters. Wow. We're now on the third stage of my three-step mold removal process. And this is where we go in with the final product, which is a bleach-based mold spray. There's a lot of misinformation online about how to effectively get rid of mold. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video now have also seen Barbara O'Neill's videos. So there's a few things I want to say for the record, and some of you aren't going to like it. The first is, yes, I am using a bleach-based mold spray. I use it to lighten and brighten in the area and then after I go in with a damp seal and primer undercoat and then anti-mold paint on top. I just use the mold spray to lighten any stains. Now bleach does kill mold. I know Barbara has a lot to say about this but bleach is actually very effective at killing mold. The problem is that it will only kill the mold that it comes into direct contact so with. So it won't target the root and we all know if the root survives then it will just regrow. This is one of the many reasons that professional mold remediators are incredible at what they do. However unfortunately a lot of people rent and a lot of people can't afford their services. I've said it 
it before and I'll say it again. The purpose of these videos is to buy people who have a mold problem a bit of extra time. It gives them all the steps they can take to make their environment a bit more pleasant and a bit safer. And they have a bit more extra time so they can apply pressure on their landlord to make permanent fixes and solutions. Or if their landlord's like mine and refuses to help, it buys that person a little bit more extra time to save some money so they can find somewhere else to live if they want to do that. We had a short food break. It was incredible. That plantain was the best I've ever had in my life. I need the lady who was receiving this free deep clean to release a cookbook ASAP Rocky because her cooking was insane. If you have any peeling or cracking paint after you've done the three steps to mold removal, simply just sand them down, get them as flat as you can, and then when you apply your damp seal and primer undercoat and then your anti-mold paint afterwards, it will be nice and smooth and look as good as new. Speaking of, here are some before and afters. I'm so happy with the work we did. I've got some more videos coming where I'll show you everything else we deep clean during this free clean. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll see you for the next one. Love ya!